Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back uh, to module 3. We have uh, just discussed uh, how uh, a travelling Gaussian would propagate and we have seen that the free particle because we are discussing free particle without any potential, it is not experiencing any potential. So, there is no potential, it means there is no force acting on the particle. Classically, we understand that the particle would be all that uh, travelling with a constant velocity. The similar thing we have seen in quantum mechanics, particle in quantum mechanics would be represented by a localized um, uh, matter wave. We, can, we should not view as uh, a ball or a small dot uh, in quantum mechanics, it should be a localized um, wave packet and what we have seen that that wave packet for the free particle is travelling with a constant velocity, that is a group velocity the center of the uh, envelope how it is moving and um, uh, so this is this is very nice uh, uh, intellectually stimulating discussion we had uh, for the uh, with an analytical solution for the wave packet dynamics. Next what we will do um, we will we have been seeing that uh, this is the form which we have got for the Gaussian wave packet and uh, uh, the, the particle. So, the particle represented by this, so I had uh, the wave function, this is the particle uh, and at different time uh, I have this expression for the wave packet represented by the particle. Now, this uh, expression we will modify um, to, to a particular kind of expression so that we can very conveniently use that for other problem. So, this is that is why we are calling it is a general form of the Gaussian wave packet. We do not want to keep it in this complicated form, we will modify it to a form given by Eric Heller uh, who has worked. Uh, significantly on this Gaussian wave packet dynamics and we will reach that form to uh, use it for our subsequent uh, analysis. So, we will just modify this, this is just a rigorous mathematical derivation we will be getting involved right now. So, first we will look at this exponentiation part, this exponentiation part can be written as minus k minus k naught whole square by 4a plus i k x minus i k h cut k square t by 2m. So, this is the exponentiation we have and uh, uh, and we we can we can simplify this as follows this is k minus k naught whole square divided by 4a plus i k minus k naught x minus i h cut k square minus k naught square divided by 2 m t plus i k naught x minus i h cut k naught square t by 
2 m. So, in this form we have uh, just uh, uh, this is the way we are writing and uh, now we will use this identity, identity is following this k square minus k naught square. This can be written as k minus k naught whole square plus 2 k naught into k minus k naught. So, this part we can write as so k minus k naught whole square by 4 a plus i k minus k naught x minus i h cut k minus k naught whole square plus 2 k naught into k minus k naught multiplied by t divided by 2 m plus i k naught x minus i h cut k naught square t by 2 m. It is just rigorous mathematical derivation that is all, but we need this derivation to reach that um, final form, the general form of a Gaussian which a Gaussian wave packet which we will be using for subsequent analysis. So, what we will do right now um, this k minus k naught this term will be represented by s and if we have that then the whole argument will be reduced to this minus s square divided by 4 a plus i s x minus i h cut t by 2 m s square plus 2 k naught s plus i k naught x minus i h cut k naught square t by 2m which is nothing but minus a square 1 by 4a plus i h cut t divided by 2m plus i s x minus h cut t k naught divided by m plus i k naught x minus i h cut k naught square t divided by 2 m. So, this is the form we have got and the reason why we have we are using this kind of form it will be revealed very soon. So, uh, so now we will move forward and further reduce the equation as follows. We have now psi wave packet x t is going to be 1 by 2 pi 2 a by pi to the power 1 by 4 square root of pi by a and then in terms of s we have to represent the argument. Argument is following e to the power minus s square 1 by 4 a plus i h cut t by 2 m plus i s x minus h cut t k naught by m plus i k naught x minus i h cut k naught square t by 2 m and this integration is going to be over ds. Here integration was k. So, if we look at this uh, k minus k naught equals s. So, I can consider dk equals ds because k is actually uh, the average uh, uh, 
web number component which we get from the uh, after the interference. The, the origin of this creation of this web packet was the interference of many um, uh, uh, components uh, the, the matter wave components and if we take the average of all wave numbers that is the K0. So, K0 is constant for a particular web packet and because it is constant we can take this derivative. So, integration can be over ds and that is exactly what we have done here. So, the reason why we have reduced it in this form because again we will be able to use the standard Gaussian integral. We have been using it and in many occasions we will be using this standard Gaussian integral and that is the beauty why we have been using this Gaussian web packet. One can propose to use some other web packet, some ugly looking web packet like okay this kind of web packet let us say. One can use that but the problem is that we will be facing one problem of getting an analytical solution. How do you get the analytical solution for such a such a web packet? So, this can be represented this can represent a particle as well and uh, but, but, but for our derivation we are considering that is a very nice looking this Gaussian type of wave packet which is representing the particle because the mathematics would be much easier to deal with. This kind of wave packet if we deal with we have to go for numerical solution which we will go over very soon in this class. Anyway we have to use this standard integral and if we use this standard integral finally we get uh, I will uh, jump one step here. You can go ahead and try to do it on your own. Just one step I have jumped here. So, I will be able to write down this integral as 1 by 1 plus 2i h cut t a by m e to the power minus a by 1 plus 2i h cut t a by m multiplied by x minus h cut t cannot divided by m whole square plus i cannot x minus t h cut k naught square sorry this is this is i i by 2m. So, this is the final form of the wave packet we have. This is a, this is a different way to represent the travelling Gaussian. We are still using travelling Gaussian. Gaussian free particle. It is just another way to represent it. So, if, if, if I have this now I will assume that I will define this alpha t. This alpha t is nothing but a by 1 plus 2 i h cut t a by m. I will define this one. And, and also we have already seen that x t that is the center of the Gaussian. The Gaussian we had this and this was the position x t the center of the Gaussian that is represented by we have already seen that this is going to be h cut t k naught divided by m. We have already seen this. So, if we if we use this two and then plug that in here we get the expression for the wave packet as follows this is going to be 2 a by pi to the power 1 by 4 then 1 plus 2 i h cut t a by m to the power minus half then e to the power minus this has simplified now alpha t x minus x t whole square plus i k 
naught x minus x t plus i k naught x t minus i h cut k naught square t by 2m. This entire argument we have written in terms of alpha t and x t. And if we if we do that alpha t what is what is the meaning of alpha t definitely you see this e to the power e to the power minus a x square this is the Gaussian form. Now if something or, or in this case this is x minus um, in this case is going to be x minus b square that is the Gaussian form we have. Now anything here is written a it will control the width of the uh, Gaussian. So, it is quite clear that this alpha t is going to control the width of the Gaussian and x t is controlling the center of the Gaussian which means I have a Gaussian this width will be controlled by alpha t. It will be controlled by it is not proportional to alpha t I will show uh, how it is related it is controlled by alpha t and the center position that is controlled by x t. So, that is the basic idea meaning of this the function. Um, so, now we have this expression and uh, we can further reduce this expression this argument particularly we can reduce this part of this argument as follows. I can write down i k naught x t minus i h cut k naught square t by 2 m equals i k naught h cut t k naught by m minus minus here I have just written this x t value here ok x t expression minus i h cut k naught square t by 2 m. So, this can be simplified as um, i h cut k naught square t by m 1 minus half which is nothing but i h cut k naught square t by 2 m. So, what we get here is that I can I can basically reduce this part of the argument and I can write down as as i h cut k naught square t by 2 m. And we have also realized that the uh, momentum of the particle free particle is going to be p naught is h cut k naught that we have seen already the momentum of the particle the momentum of the particle. So, if this is the momentum of the particle then I can see that um, I can write down that i by h cut p naught square t by 2 m equals i by h cut k naught square h cut square t by 2 m equals i k naught square h cut t by 2 m. So, what we see is this part can be represented as this in terms of the momentum. So, if we do that finally, what we have is following psi 
web packet xt equals 2a by pi to the power 1 by 4 1 plus 2i h cut t a by m to the power minus half and then e to the power minus alpha t x minus x t whole square plus i by h cut p naught x minus x t plus i by h cut p naught square divided by 2 m t. So, now we have represented the free particle Gaussian wave packet in terms of alpha t, x t and p naught that is the momentum uh, of the wave packet. And we can further reduce it in a following way 2a by pi to the power 1 by 4 e to the power this part can be written as e to the power minus half ln natural log of 1 plus this term 2 i h cut t a by m and then I have this entire Gaussian function alpha t x minus x t whole square plus i by h cut p naught x minus x t plus i by h cut p naught square by 2 m t. So, if I, if, I, if I do that then, then I can finally express this uh, wave function as 2a by pi to the power 1 by 4 e to the power this entire term can be written as e to the power minus alpha t x minus x t whole square plus i by h cut plus i by h cut p naught x minus x t plus i by h cut gamma t where I will write down all this. So, this is the final expression of the wave packet free particle wave packet. The general form this general form will be used where we have uh, we have alpha t and this is given here uh, where alpha t is a by 1 plus 2i h cut t a by m that is alpha t. P naught is the momentum of the wave packet h cut k naught. x t is the center of the Gaussian. So, this is related to these are related to the width this is related so related to width. I am not saying this is represented representing the width it is related to width this is related to uh, but this is not related this is directly representing the momentum of the wave packet this is center of the wave packet of the wave packet which is nothing but h cut t k naught by m and finally I have this gamma t which is nothing but p naught square divided by 2 m t plus i h cut by 2 ln 1 plus 2 i h cut t a by m. So, this is the general form of, uh, of the uh, traveling Gaussian wave packet and we can we can see that if the uh, if this is 
uh, and then the same uh, form can be re, uh, can represent a stationary Gaussian uh, function as well the stationary Gaussian wave packet which we have seen previously and in order to make it stationary all we need to do is that P naught should be 0 because it's, it does not have any velocity. So, it does not have any momentum it is not moving at all. So, it does not have momentum. So, in this if you use P naught equals 0 then the uh, the, the term which will be eliminated from here is is this term will be eliminated and this term will be eliminated because they both have uh, p naught term and remaining term will be there and if you compare remaining term with the previous results you will see that they are matching with each other so this is the general form of the of the gaussian we'll remember this and we will use very frequently this is used in wave packet dynamics Gaussian wave packet dynamics particularly. So, uh, we have uh, come to a conclusion or, or come to the end of this uh, module 3. In this module what we have studied the first take home message should be from this module is that when I think of particle immediately I get an impression that I am seeing a ball and that should be avoided in quantum mechanics. There is nothing called particle like ball in quantum mechanics. In quantum mechanics particle would be represented by this. Shape can be different, shape can be Gaussian, shape can be different else, something else. But what does it mean by particle in quantum mechanics? Particle is actually a localized matter wave. in space this is called particle and this is something which we should uh, practice it does not come immediately because we are so much familiar with um, uh, our daily experience that immediately once we think of particle we immediately think of the ball and that should be avoided it, it is in quantum mechanics there is nothing like ball it, it has to be like a localized uh, matter wave. So, this is one important point which we have clarified and then what we have done is that we have shown different rigorous mathematical derivation and in the derivation we have uh, uh, and we, we have shown how Gaussian wave packet would propagate in time and then finally we have got this general expression for this wave packet general expression of those wave packet would be very useful for and this is for free particle. This uh, okay, I will keep some reservation this is a general expression for free particle uh, so far we are calling it free particle because we are using P naught and uh, question is yeah it is for free particle free particle which means potential experienced by the particle is 0. There is no force acting on the particle. So, uh, if the if the force is not acting on the particle quantum particle it will just move with the same velocity it will not change the velocity at all and that is why momentum is constant. This is the momentum which is constant. Now, question is uh, can I use similar kind of form for a particle experiencing potential such as linear potential or quadratic potential. I will keep this question open and, and I will end this session. I will meet again in the next module.